Muy buenas chicos, ¿cómo están? Sean bienvenidos, yo soy su amigo Viere, que estamos en otro capítulo más de Genshin Impact A 48 segunditos de que empiece la live stream de la 3.8 Ahí tenemos a nuestra hermosa Cle, tenemos a nuestra hermosa Eula, a Colei Y de sorpresa tenemos por ahí a la señorita Kokomi Vamos a ver qué nos trae esta nueva live stream Podemos observar aquí en pantalla antes de que inicie Que se va a llamar el paraíso del verano secreto Así que, uy, cuidado Cuidado con lo que nos pueda venir, chicos Se viene, puede que venga algo nuevo de Alice No sé, supongo que siempre es, es referencia a que venga algo de Alice La Kokomi, que pues no sabemos qué cosa tenga que ver Y la Cole, pues bueno, ya sabemos que es Lambert de, de Sumero Así que venga, y la sorpresa por ahí Que no, ya sabíamos que podría venir Nuestra señorita Eula Venga, empezamos Long, long ago, there was a place in the uh, desert Alice. called Bottle Land. Hmm? You wanted to learn more about Bottle Land? I left that place mm. long ago, but I still clearly remember its beautiful sights, even to Norman this day. Cannon. Bienvenido Whenever a travelers a ask me how to travel to Bottle Land, Norman I warn them that the desert is Dice. a very dangerous place. Buenos días. Buenos días. Despite the risks, there will always be enthusiastic newcomers who venture into the desert. Ha <laughs> ha! The treasures of Bottle Land are as good as mine! <laughs> I'm sorry, Valgamer. Mom! I shouldn't Dice. have played with magic Traductor like that! XD. Now I can't find my way back home! The desert entices vale. people with hope, but it devours that hope from the moment they step foot within its scorching domain. But that magic bottle can bring forth an endless and refreshing spring. Revitalizing the hopes that had shriveled in the arid desert. My dear weary traveler, why do you wish to enter the desert? Are you so determined to find Bottle Land? All right, I will help you then. La cocomi, ¿no? Venga. Cristóbal Gamer. Calla de Cristóbal. Dice. Cocomi es la guía ex. Also clear and open, like an ice cube. Is that why she's able to dance anytime and anywhere Ay, she amor. wishes? Te amo. Belleza, princesa. No mames, esa se hace así. Quick, si llega a los escenarios. Cle. Lol, mira el trajecito. Te confirma nueva skin, chico. Dice. Hace cuánto siglo subí extra. Oh, que ella también trae skin. Se confirma skin de click a ella, ¿vale? Vale, los viajes en el agua. Clemo de Brujita. Have experience being on stage. Once the stage lights turn on, everyone's attention is focused on. I can't stand that feeling. Sí, es un circo. Me imagino que Eula y Caía le vinieron a proteger. Esto Mommy is busy these days and can't take you out to play. But there's good news. I have a friend who has very kindly invited you to visit her. Te dije, tiene algo que ver con la mamá de Cle nuevamente. Es que siempre el cambio así Normal de, de versiones es la mamá. Dice. Esa vale. skin de Cla está linda. Sí, está bonita. Q, B, Q, 2, N, H, 6, D. Cristóbal Gamer. B, 4. Dice, Veamos si es de 4 o 5 estrellas XD. Eso lo van a decir después, Chris. Vale, ya canjeé el código. Chicos, ahí está el código. Me. Dice. 
QBQ2NH6DB4Z9. Black Beardox. Dice. Códigos PROTOGEMASQBQ2NH6DB4Z9. Hello everyone, welcome to the Genshin Impact version 3.8 special program. <laughs> I'm your host, Zach Aguilar, the voice of Ether. And as always, I'm joined by some very special guests today. Hello everybody, I'm Poonam Basu and I voice Spark Knight Clean of the Night. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am Risa Mei, the voice of Watatsumi Island's Divine Priestess, Sangonomiya Kokomi. Woo, yay! Wow, yes. so relaxing and elegant. <laughs> and I am Susie Young, the voice of the captain of the Reconnaissance Company and the Spindrift Knight, Eula. Vengeance will be mine! Woo! Whoa. Woo. <laughs> Mark <Yeah>. my words. <laughs> I will. Uh, I'm super <laughs> excited to have you all on the program today. And I believe this is the first time we've had Risa and Susie with us. <gasps> oh my gosh, yay! yay! Oh. I get to be mini Eula. <laughs> They're so cute. Es la primera vez que Eula sale chibi, no, ¿eh? Oh my gosh, yay! <laughs> I'm so happy, yay! Well, I'm glad to have you both here this time. Uh, we have an interesting format for today's special program. We'll be taking on some acting roles as we explore a mysterious ancient desert nation known as Bottle Land. <laughs> and in this process, we'll be revealing Bottle upcoming Land. content for the new version. Please note that these special roles are not the characters we play in Genshin Impact, but just for the setting of our story today. Oh, that sounds so interesting. So, what are everybody's roles? I'll be playing a treasure-seeking adventurer in the desert. Mm. I'm a little mage who left Bottle Land de, de, de tesoros en el desierto. <laughs> And guess what I'll be? A knight from Bottle Land. Perfect! <laughs> And I'll be el... a guide from Bottle Land. De la tierra right. Wait, y ella es la guía. Second. how come I'm the only one not from o Bottle Land? Guía. Outlander, your journey ends here. No! <laughs> uh, you're not invited. What? <laughs> I guess I'm just kidding, Zach. It's Dice. fine. Okay, good. <laughs> And this fairy tale game has a game master. Let's welcome. Hey everyone, I'm Rachel Kimsey, and I'm the voice of Mage Alice. I'll be telling the fairy tale with you. Oh, yeah. Yes. Now, let's begin exploring the first act of our story. The little mage's magic. Me confirma, oh, algo tiene uh, que ver ahí. So, are we, are we starting already? Yep. Let's see what the fairy tale will reveal first. And action. The exact location of Bottleland can't be found on any map. Its very existence can be difficult to prove. But I know of a mage who once used her magic powers to leave Bottleland. The little mage was practicing her magic, as the grand mage had instructed. As usual, she started slacking off during her practice. She already knew the grand mage's magic tomes from cover to cover, and she stumbled on some strange incantations in the newer books. Hmm, teleportation magic? Oh, I want to visit every kingdom that I've read about in the storybook! The little mage was very brave and confident, so she was not afraid of venturing out on her own. In fact, Me she believed that the bad guys were the ones who should be afraid of, of her. After taking a few moments to compose herself, she began to recite the new magic spells she had just learned. The God of Fortune was evidently looking after her. Without even knowing her destination, the little bottle and mage left her home. Wow! It really The little mage seemed like a child in a candy shop, with an endless amount of mora in her pocket. She was excited to try all the different incantations she found, as if they were different flavors of candy. Divination magic? When spring water drops down pure and clear, into the future one may peer! Oh, this is just Dice. what I need! The Las little mage simply believed that buscarlas. these were miracles that were foretold in the prophecy. All right. Let's look at what the bottle foresees. Show me what we'll find in this adventure. 
setentera o algo así. Ahí está la botella. Oh, it looks like the info on the upcoming event Mara, wishes has appeared. Ebla y Cle wow. Para el baño. <laughs> In the first part of version 3.8, Klee and Yula will be returning with their own event wishes. Oh, I'm Klee, so happy to be back, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's been 84 years. Now I'm back with the dentist. Comi, no? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. nice. Uh, okay, well, besides us, who else can we expect for the next part? Well, looks like no me jodas, for the next part of version 3.8, we'll have a tiny event wishes for Sangonomiya, Kokomi, and the Wanderer. Yay! 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 This will be the perfect chance to hang out with some old friends. Ooh, okay, speaking of hangouts, Kaya will get his very own hangout event in version 3.8. Nice. Nice. I love Kaya. These hangout events are great for getting to know more about a character. Kaya definitely has always been quite the mysterious guy, so I'm super curious as to what we'll get to learn about him. Oh, look! The bottle is still changing! Vale, está. La skin de Kaya. Es que la clé corriendo. Sneak off on an adventure. Cristobal Gamer. No. Dice. Es de cuatro estrellas la de Cla. Oh. Cristobal oh. Gamer. Oh my gosh, What? this is amazing. Clean no Kaya are both nueva. getting new outfits. Oh. They look no amazing. Way. So awesome. Wow. Clee's outfit actually makes her look like a little maid. Oh, she's she's so, so adorable. I am she's so excited, y'all. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Oh, guys, and look at Kaya. Kaya's outfit seems to be slay. So amazing. I love this. I love this for Kaya. Arg. Um, hey, wait. Y'all, I bet the styles of these outfits are somehow related to version 3.8's main event story. Okay, oh, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm a little bit curious about what kind ya of no, events we'll see too. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, S R tres P Y siete Norman Cannon A cincuenta y dos V pero está linda claro y yo claro vale ya cambié la segunda Cristo Valgamer chicos ahí está la segunda dice eso sí Black Beardox dice dos S R tres P Y siete K cincuenta y dos V Welcome back to the version 3.8 special program. We'll be continuing our story about exploring the mysterious and ancient place known as Bottle Land. Our last clues came from the little mage. Códigos P-R-O-T-O-G-M-A-S-Q-B-Q-2-N-H-6-D-B-4-Z-9-12-S-R-3-P-Y-7-K-5-2-S-R-3-P-Y-7-K-5-2-S-R-3-P-Y-7-K-
Shouldn't we call it the Valurium Mirage? La guía dice. <laughs> Welcome back, dear knight. We're in Bottle Land. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. And we found lots of information to share with everybody. So, oh, so van a regalar una Laila. Yep. Venga. So, first of all, we have our main event for version 3.8. Which won't be on an island no like usual. Laila, Instead, Laila it takes place inside a bottle located somewhere in the desert. Ooh. There will be many items called dry vouchers, which are scattered throughout the areas. Travelers will be able to collect them to obtain some rewards, yep. including <gasps> Kaya's new outfit. Yes, <laughs> I need to get that. Para el que de compra. <laughs> Well, since the it's the desert, de, I think it's safe evento. to assume that we'll be seeing a variety of terrain, you think? Yeah. Uh, I hope the vouchers won't be hidden in some extremely hard to reach places. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it might be. I know, right? <laughs> uh, but there's no need to worry, because the travelers <laughs> are going to have some tools to assist them in their search. So, for example, right, we can use these crystals to help us locate vouchers more oh. easily. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And in addition to collecting no, vouchers, Bottle Land voucher. also has many unique attractions. Ooh. Absolutely. So first up, we have the preprint. Es que te digo que es como un, well, como there un circo, are ¿vale? streaming projectors scattered throughout the Valerian Mirage. It's said that if you place an, you place an object in the projector, then you can construct a corresponding item based on its original shape and the power of your imagination. Ooh, okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. But there is a slight problem. Well, for now, it can only display certain two-dimensional objects called a preprint. Okay. Travelers can open the streaming projector to enter the world of the preprint and make some changes. Oh. But... If we try to move oh, straight through, okay, well, well. we might encounter some obstacles. Ooh. Well, in that case, we'll need to leave the preprint world and move some external objects to change the environment inside, <laughs> <laughs> which will then allow us to pass through. That sounds awesome. Sounds yeah. super fun. Success. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to give it a try. Yeah, right? Well, in addition to the preprints, we'll also have a Falta fun and new way to get around. You might even be able to call it a game mode. It's called the Choo Choo Cart. <gasps> yeah, so with the, the Choo Choo, Choo, Choo Cart, cart travelers can go to Choo Choo Cart stations in various areas of the Valuria Mirage to ride the cart. Oh, oh my gosh, this is so cool. That looks so fun. I love this. It's like a little baby uh, amusement yeah. cart. Well, not really baby. It's, it's going to <laughs> give me a headache. Oh, <laughs> I, I can't even look for sure. <laughs> The preprints and Choo Choo Cart we just introduced were both open world game modes. But next, we have some event mini games. Oh, mini games. <laughs> Woo! First up is the Spino Blaster. Ooh. So get ready for this, guys, because this one's got a long the Spino name. Blaster. So its technical name is the Crocomorph Vortex based Crocodilian Armored Heavy Naval Battleship Style Recreational Water Blasting Cannon. <laughs> oh, wow! Whoa. That's an epic name. <laughs> I think my head hurts. <laughs> Yeah, I'm surprised you got through that. Me too. <laughs> well, apparently it said that the name is an accurate reflection of its appearance and its underlying principles. Aww. Apparently, that's that's what it says. Okay. Yeah. Vale, tiene que pegar <laughs> and it uses rojo. stored ammunition to fire hydro bullets. Cool. That's right. And as a note, because I know some of you will be concerned about this, the hydro bullets that it fires are safe and they're used limitada. for leisure purposes only. Yay. Safety first. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And once it's out of ammunition, it will take a certain amount of time to reload its supply. Okay. Absolutely. But if you need to, we can also manually reload it at the right opportunity. Mm -hmm. Noted. Mm -hmm. So use the cannon to hit as many of the target balls as you can within the time limit to earn points. Yeah, there are also different types of target balls to aim at. These include Ordinormy, Tiny Vantage, Ruhaha, Overdrive, and Dual Charge Target Balls. <laughs> wow. Ruhaha. <laughs> <Ruha. laughs> That's quite the list. Sería el cuarto evento, ¿no? Yeah, some, evento some fun principal. names in there, huh? <laughs> uh, so a notable projectile is the Overdrive Ball. So travelers can break it to enter an enhanced state, during which you will gain infinite ammo. <gasps> Love and power. Also, I'll take it. yeah, right? So when your bullets hit the targets in this state, they will cause damage in a larger AOE. Travelers will definitely have a blast with this mechanic. So 
give it vale, a si shot. le pegas al, al de colores, uh, let's shoot for the so stars. Eh, te da como infinitas balas. I'll be here all day. <laughs> vale. So next up, we have Sojourns of the Barking Fox. Travelers will have to control the Barking Fox to reach the destination within the time limit. They'll also have to collect as many adventure coins as possible while moving the fox. So the coins are projections you can pass through? Oh, it looks so okay. great. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah. So this mini game will contain sleet trust fruit, which can obstruct traveler's sight. Players will also encounter disruptor orbs, which emit disruption waves. But these disruption waves don't seem like they're dealing any real damage to us. Hmm. Yeah, thankfully not. <laughs> so these disruption waves, they won't be damaging the barking fox. Oh. They just trigger a sensor that reduces the remaining time of the challenge as well as your score. Ah, vale, te retrasan, so our little nomás. barking fox buddy will be safe. Now, guess what our next mini game is. <laughs> it's called Dance of Flashing Thought. Ooh. Ooh, wow. <laughs> nice. That totally sounds like a game for Eula. Sounds like a dancing event, but it's actually a combat mini game. It just happens to take place on a stage, and some of the game mechanics have been inspired by theater. I love the theater. Pretty fancy, right? Mm -hmm. Totally. So before starting, travelers will be able to adjust their party to fit the special features of the different stages. During the challenge, you can defeat opponents to accumulate honed will. And once you've gathered enough, you'll obtain honed focus effects. And that's what the light is. Go for it. Wow, wow. Like they defeated loca. all those monsters almost immediately. Yeah. Right? Really cool, right? It seems like the movement speed increased. No quiero ver cuando le pongas a Kazuha. Yeah, that's one of the buffs corre. you can get. That's pretty epic. So, so epic. Genial. I love this. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to play this. So strong. Dice. And so finally, we have our last minigame. Oh, and the theme of this minigame is... Drum roll. 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 Finches are the cutest! What? Huh? <laughs> Our last mini game is called Bing Bang Finch Ball. Amazing. So, I've got a finch fact. Oh. It said that when some finches take flight, they'll press the tree branch down using their weight and slide down a short distance before using the rebound to accelerate. Oh, oh so yeah. So, this cute little detail is one of the inspirations for Finch Ball. I see. Okay. Yeah. And you're going to be launching a certain number of finch balls in order. Place as many finch balls as you can in high scoring zones and reach the set scores to complete the challenges. Mm -hmm. Yep, and you'll need to know the differences between the various zones. So, if the finch ball stops inside the red zone, you will earn four points. But if it's in the zone, you will earn two points. And if it lands within a blue zone, it will just be one point. Gotcha. Yeah. So you're going to want to press the launch button at the right time to set the direction before entering the charging sequence. Release the button to launch the finch ball in the corresponding direction. So, I know, it may sound simple, but you'll find that there's some finesse to getting it right. Me imagino que van a cambiar las mesas. No puede ser siempre la misma. And in addition to ordinary finch balls, lo cual va a ser más difícil. they also have some very special so, mira, cambian las mesas. Sticky finch balls and pretty finch balls. Oh, I love that. Oh. <laughs> oh, the pelotita. sticky finch balls giving it a little hug. Oh, that's so cute. Stop <laughs> it. It's adorable, isn't it? <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I can't wait to see everyone try these mini games out in version 3.8. Oh, and I still have more news! In addition to our main in game event, we also have some info about upcoming events. Hoya Fest 2023. Hoya Fest 2023 is just around the corner! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so excited! <laughs> Starting in July, Hoyaverse will continuously bring you all sorts of exciting online and offline Hoya Fest events. Whether it's Hoyo Fest exclusive merchandise, awesome offline events, and rewards both in and out of the game. We are excited to see our travelers Hoyo, participate in these events. Travelers who would like to learn more about these events should Así follow Genshin pendiente. Impact's official social media channels and keep an eye out for more related info in the future. Oh, heck yeah. I'm super excited. Let's Más go. Información, <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> also... Genshin Impact's third commemorative OST album, The Shimmering Voyage Volume 3, Otro will be released during version 3.8. Oh, 
Como si nos interesara. I know some travelers have been highly uh. anticipating this one. The album includes three discs by the Hoyo Mix team, which contain the original music of version 3.0 to version 3.8. This album will include music, bueno, storyline, a mí se me and animation, as well as las version specific events. That's awesome. Los ediciones oh, mix. I'm so excited for this. Wait, so that means that it should include music from the Sub Zero's festival and the RNR music, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet some travelers remember that event. The music was so good, right? <laughs> ah, la yeah. música de los RNR va a venir ahí. The album will also no, feature music from the Wind Bloom Festival. Ya me voy escuchando. Me... And <laughs> even <laughs> the music from our version 3.8 Valeria Mirage event. Let's check out a preview of the album. Mmm, ya me he asustado. Yo dije, ¿van a sacar algo de, la, de las brujas? Vale. Tercer código. Ahora se los pongo, yo. 6 A 83 6 G N U a 52 Z Listo, canjeado chicos Black Beardox Dice 6 a 836 GNU a 52 Z Black Beardox. Dice. Códigos PROTOGMASQBQ2NH6DB4Z912CR3PY7K52V6A830. Welcome back, everyone. We've already introduced a bunch of exciting events, but do we have other updates for this version? Mm-hmm. We still have lots of content to introduce. Everything we've covered so far was related to the limited time map. We still have more surprises for you. Ah, right. Let me see here. Okay, this is my part. All right, then. Let's begin the third act of our story. Adventurer's Treasures. Cristobal Gamer. Dice. Where am I? What a strange place. Huh? Who are you two? <laughs> That's exactly what we'd like to ask you, mister. It's all right. I invited him here. Welcome to Bottle Land. This is Bottle Land? Yes, that's right. <laughs> All right, then where's the legendary treasure? It's right here on this map. If you find it, then it's yours. Wait, that's all there is to it? Really? Uh, okay then. I didn't expect I'd get the info vale, so easily. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. The first event is called Shared Sight. In this event, travelers will assist a researcher who is collecting experimental data. We will need to use an item called the Inscribed Mirror to find and recover small animals in order to complete the experiment. <gasps> Wait, oh, what? Really mal, Travelers may use the device linked to the Inscribed Mirror to view the environment from the animal's point of view. Mm. Use the information from what you can see to figure out their location and recover them. Ah, the o sea, second event is called animalito. Perilous Expedition. Ooh. Travelers will need to help a Liu adventurer study Sumeru's geography and hydrology. Mm. But despite its name, this will actually be a combat event. Cool! I love Hi. fighting combat! Me too! <laughs> <laughs> During the event, a new area no, will no. unlock for us to explore each day, and we'll need to fight our way through. Mm. Each exploration consists of three combat rounds. If the team compositions are varied enough, then a stackable buff will be activated. Each exploration has different challenges. This will be a great chance for players to test out different character combinations. I love that! Yeah, oh, let's do it! <laughs> Our third event is called Adventurer's Trials Advance. The branch master of the Mondstadt Adventurer's Guild has prepared new challenges to help train rookie adventurers. In the sequential trials, you will need to pass three consecutive trial challenges in a single run. 
As for fortuitous trials, three trial challenges will be randomly generated after you enter the domain. There will be a variety of fun mini-games, such as flying and collecting adventure coins while dodging attacks, kicking slimes into the goals, and ah, skillfully dodging various traps. Oh, I and love kicking slimes. Slimes. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> but that's not all. Genius Invocation TCG will also be receiving an update. Yes! <laughs> new character cards will be added, and a new game mode called the Forge Realms Temper Endless Swarm will be available in version 3.8. Different stages will feature oh, special mira, rules with different buffs and a variety of opponents to battle suja, against. Eh, Defeat these opponents to increase your score. Okay, I get it. So, travelers will need to pit their well-constructed decks against endless waves of enemies for a set amount of rounds. The more enemies you defeat, the more points you earn. You earn. That's right. Yes! Well, <laughs> that covers everything we have for version 3.8. Yay! Oh, I can't wait. So much Let's fighting. go. Yes. <laughs> Love fighting. Well, our story about the Bottleland expedition is finally drawing to a close. Hot. Wait. Already? Wait, wait, wait. Oh. But what about our little mage? She still hasn't <gasps> returned since she left home, right? Oh, you're, oh, right. you're right. Yeah. Like, even la parte oh, it buena. says here that the little mage saved the parched adventurer in the desert, and the adventurer led her on a wonderful journey. Oh, oh okay. Cool. Thank you. That track. <laughs> La vi como una versión normalita, no sé, me esperaba algo más. Enjoy this little story. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, I liked stories. It was okay. Oh, what a tough crowd. But it's all right. I have another little tale that I'll share once everyone has finished discussing their impressions from today. Well, looks like it's that time again. What did you all think about being on the special program today? Anything you're particularly looking forward to in version 3.8? As a teaser, you could say that the Secret Summer Paradise event is a gift that Alice made for her daughter, Klee. And I hope everyone can enjoy the adorable adventure and enjoy all the fun updates in this version. Like the sticky finch balls. I love them so much. Yes, I know. I, I can't wait for all of it. It all seems like so much fun. Um, I think my favorite's got to be the new outfits. I mean, oh Kaya's God. outfit. <gasps> So and cute. Oh, oh. The hat. I can't. I love them. I love them. You guys just listed some of my favorites, but I also like really just kicking slimes <gasps> and right. the fact that yes. we're all coming back. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> yes. I know. All right. That's all we have for today's special program. We hope to see everyone enjoying the new in-game events. Bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> now then, let me tell you oh. all a tale. It's a cute story. I hope it'll appear in your slumbering dreams tonight. Para de abrir unos dientes. Ready? Here we go. In the Verga, ya no justice, there is a little Dice. upstanding Melisande. She is considered to be one of the most diligent in her duties. Coña, even among eh? her kin. A huevo. Look how Listo hard she is working for justice Dice. in this nation, even Dame today. Somebody Dame. Dame. Don't let this little Melazine size fool you. What she lacks in size, she makes up for in her sense of justice. Bolstered by her convictions, she patrols Fleuve Sandra fearlessly Listo by Dame. herself. If Dice. anyone suspicious appears, such as an unknown outlander, sí. she'll be sure vale, to watch their agua. every move. Senpai no, but man, es que guapo. before anything suspicious Ponte occurs, me. the just little Melazine will never Listo act without Valgamer. authorization Dice. and accuse an innocent oh, oh, oh. person. Well, not usually, that is. LOL. But if the upstanding outlander isn't careful and finds themselves caught up in some misunderstanding, then we can let the court decide their. Se cayó. Se cayó. Pues nada, hasta ahí nos dejaron. <laughs> Con los dientes larguísimos. Dice. Bueno, nada, chicos. Nos vemos poder. en el siguiente capítulo de especial en el que siga. Supongo que la 4.0 o 3.9. Nos vemos hasta la próxima. Venga, para YouTube. <laughs> Suscríbanse, comenten, compartan. Ya saben lo de siempre.